However, in the modern world, I, I tend to be a very practical per person, and I only believe in things that I can understand. And uh, so, homeopathic medicine, for instance, I don't understand how a solution with no molecules can actually help us at all. Astrology, I don't understand why the stars would, or the planets would even care what, uh, what I did. So, uh, as, uh, as a complete rationalist, I have a, a, I have a strong foundation in, in, uh, in, in science. I, I am interested, as Dr. Baljander is, in, uh, in astronomy and astrology as it impacts especially our calendar. And I know Dr. Martin has been doing a lot of work recently on, on calendar reform and trying to understand the different dates of that, I find fascinating. But on a historical level, not on a scientific level. So I would, uh, I would say that uh, in, the pra in our modern practice, it is, uh, there's an inconsistency between modern scientific thought and astrology. And it's uh, nice to be at this uh, uh, place, particularly to get involved in this uh, discussions. Uh, first, I'd like to say that uh, when I was in, uh, say, the 10th standard, my father used to say, hey, you have to prove the data. Suddenly, you will get top as soon as they have to come to your, uh, say, your message. So, and it has happened. <laughs> but, Remember, Chitramar Gadesha is for 20 years. And within this 20 years, why only this particular uh, time only it has happened? And that means certainly we cannot go into the details of that. But the point I wanted to make it here is, look at the Panchangas. They give the precise timings of, say for example, uh, say eclipses. How do they give? It's actually they use or some certain thumb rules or whatever the kind of calculations they do, it is basically the positional astronomy. So based on the posi positional astronomy, which I don't know whether they accept in a direct way or indirect way, but certainly that is positional astronomy where they can give such precise times. Similarly, the uh, astronomy and astrophysics people, they do it and they match exactly. But what we really uh, need to look at is certain Predictions, that's where they get into the astrology part. That's what we believe. It need not be astrology alone. Look at, I think yesterday I saw on one website, certain predictions have been given. Say for example, 2000, in December 2012, there is going to be a doomsday. And this, uh, these predictions are not just from astrology people, from somebody else. But all we're giving is, is, it's not that, you know, it's uh, just based on astrology alone or the astronomy alone. How they are doing is totally different aspect. So it all just goes on our belief. But as Jain said, look at it really in a practical way. How does it really whether it, uh, affect us or do not affect us and what best we can learn from the existing system that would really help us to progress with our understanding and say with our in the science and technology or in our social life. I hope uh, we should uh, go on these slides.